Tonight, an emotional and prayer-filled candlelight vigil for a family who was found dead in their Southwest Houston home yesterday. Yes, family members say it was a man, his wife, and their two children who were found with gunshot wounds in their burned-out home. Tonight, investigators still have a lot of questions as to what happened on that home on Imogene Street. That's where our Michael Laparty is live tonight with the new developments. Michael? Chris and Dominique, that home behind me is dark, but you can see the driveway has now been lit up with dozens of candles. This is a family grieves and waits for answers. Tonight, candles, pictures, and prayers to remember four family members found dead inside the Southwest Houston home over the weekend. It's a hardworking family. Very working family. Paulina Moreno says the family members are her brother in law, Jairo Escano, wife Alvira, as well as children Isabel and Jairo Jr. It was a shock, and I was driving when my husband called me. He had told me, Jairo family is dead. And I said, What? Repeat it again. I couldn't believe it. Houston police say the four had gunshot wounds and the home had been set on fire. Relatives are struggling to make sense of what happened. They're so in shock, they, they can't believe it. They were joined tonight by friends and neighbors. I really came out here to pay my respect because, you know, there's some kids involved, so that's a really sad story. I really feel sad for that. Investigators have not said when the shooting took place. Paulina can't help but wonder about the timing. She says she last spoke with Elvira on Tuesday, and Isabel had missed school last week. I said to my daughter, maybe she got sick or COVID or something, you know? But we didn't think that was this. Happened. The family says Hiro and his wife worked at a flea market, the yellow truck, their work truck. Tonight, family and friends gathered just steps away to remember them. The family also told us that the wife's adult son did live at this home, but we don't know where he is right now. To be clear, police have not named a suspect so far. Yesterday, the chief said that he suspects this was domestic violence and believes it was not random, but the family says they have not gotten any updates from investigators so far. Reporting live in Southwest Houston tonight, Michael Loparty, KPRC 2 News. Mike.